What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Last episode, we got the rear subframe situated and the battery mounted up on our chassis table. This episode, we're gonna be connecting the dots. So I already have some material mocked up on our battery. We have some two x four to grab the front mounting points for the Tesla battery. We have some two x two and some two x fours on the side. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drilling holes underneath these two by fours to grab all of these bolt holes that go all the way down the sides of the battery itself. And then there's some main ones in the front and the rear. How this is normally bolted in the bottom side of an actual Tesla car is the entire floor of the car is the actual battery. So there's like a million bolts in there. So we're gonna have to pick and choose how many we're gonna use, but we're gonna use quite a few of them because we obviously don't want anything bad to happen. Nothing can possibly go wrong. We're gonna be cutting up on our plasma cutter to grab the front of our rear IRS system. This is gonna be quarter inch and we're gonna actually triangulate it. I have it set up here on the plasma table. So this tab right here is quarter inch. It's gonna grab that bolt. It's gonna through bolt through the front of this subframe right here. We're gonna go ahead and weld the tab to this four x four and then we're gonna kink this four x four to this one. At that point, we're gonna start jogging over this rear subframe and then the whole chassis should be all set to tack weld together, not completely weld because then we want to fit the cab and start working on the roll cage. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We're going to get these rear 4x4 mounted up right now and start cutting on our Arclight Dynamics table. All right guys, our rear subframe is coming together. We have our front bar in place. This is gonna grab the forward two mounts of the Tesla rear IRS system. And we have our quarter inch pieces cut back here. I'm trying to come make my way over this factory IRS K member, which is aluminum, and then come down and connect it into the back here on this bar. This bar is gonna then tie into the side rails. We have our passenger side all set and we just did our miters for our driver's side. So when you're doing stuff like this, guys, you want to focus your time and energy on one side and then go ahead and transfer it. Don't start over because you have all the measurements there. So what I did was I went ahead and made this one. This is gonna jog right over the Tesla IRS system. And then I just laid these pipes down and marked my miters and cut everything up. Now what I'm gonna do to make sure everything is perfect is I'm gonna use our clamp system here on the table and hold everything in place. I'm gonna square everything off. There's gonna be little gaps here and there. Not that big, but little gaps here and there. And make sure that these are both very symmetrical. The reason for that is when we go to make the roll cage in the truck, we wanna make sure all of our points are as similar as possible. We want them to be as perfect as we can get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld up both these sides right now. I'm gonna tack them together and then go ahead and throw it in the IRS and see what we can do to connect it to the bars. And then we have our rear subframe assembly all set. We're gonna do some cross members and stuff like that with some one inch tubing, but then we'll be able to connect the frame rails. Let's get to welding real quick and then we'll get to that. So the rear subframe is almost there. We have our frame rails in place. These miters have been cut and welded. We have our front brace in. Everything's welded up. We have our four points now tying this whole system together. We have our front factory mounts and our rear factory mounts. These have all been tabbed and triangulated, so we have some gussets. Now these two frame rails are strong independently, but there's nothing really holding them together. So what we have to do now is we have to start bracing. What we're gonna use is this eighth wall one inch tubing. So you keep the weight down A and B also give it some rigidity. To stop this from kind of folding in on itself, we're gonna put a cross brace across the back of the motor 
and a cross brace across the front. And then we're gonna exit to the top of the actual C-channel. From here, we're gonna actually tie in our suspension to the upright. By doing that, we're gonna be tying all of these braces into the same points, which are eventually gonna become the suspension point for the rear end of the car. It's gonna be able to transfer the weight of the vehicle and the chassis to the rear wheels without having to worry about any of this flexing or moving. Then we're gonna even go one step further and tie this all into the roll cage. But for right now, we're gonna finish up the rear subframe of this truck. We're gonna put all these one inch tubing in and get this all braced up. As you can see, we have our lower and upper on. I'm gonna start working my way from this corner over there this corner over there and vice versa. Finally at the home stretch on the rear subframe of this EV truck, we have our cross members all in, all our X braces are done. And what we did is we tied all of the corners of the subframe together so that the load is evenly dispersed throughout this entire rear subframe. For now, I'm gonna trade it off to Donnie. He's gonna explain what he's doing in the corners up here at the front. So now we need some structural support in here. So I'm actually making a miter cut from inside this weld and coming out to the frame. Then we're also gonna tie it in here with another little tab for this back flange right here. So this has something to rest against. So my job here is to make two of these, make the miter cuts get to fit well, clean everything up, and then we'll weld it in. All right, so now we got one made. As you see, it fits good. Now we got rigidity between these two points when we get load coming forward. And then all I have to do is cut this back piece because it's kind of hitting the frame and then cap it and tie it into the frame so it looks better from the inside. It's just hanging out. So I'll trim that up, cap it, and then we'll get these welded in. And then I triangulated this piece, as you can see, and made some fillers polish them all up. Now it's time to actually go put the braces in. So it's gonna be kind of cool. These are gonna go in there and they're gonna be hidden, but it's going to SEMA, so we want it to be pretty. Me and Donnie have been rocking and rolling on the rear subframe. We're gonna be continuing on making our frame rails. In the Model 3, this battery pack is bolted in all down the side here, in the rear, and in the front. So we're gonna be duplicating that same setup, just how Tesla would do it if they were building a 1986 Chevy C10, which they are not and they probably never will. But we are, because we're stupid. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. We're going to be putting the frame rails in. We're gonna be connecting our rear subframe and our front subframe, making a complete and uniform electric chassis. Once we have that all done and set, then we're going to be able to get our cab and start hanging it on the chassis table and start positioning that. So this is our front mounting plate. This is a two by four quarter wall tubing that we've been using for the entire chassis. I'm gonna go ahead and drill these six holes now and we're going to weld our fasteners in place so that we can bolt the front of the battery into the front subframe. And we're gonna weld threaded bungs inside of here so that we can actually not have to worry about through bolting or anything because we're not gonna have any access from the top. This way it's gonna be a lot simpler and a lot easier for maintenance if we ever have to change the battery out for any reason. So we're making quick work of these side rails. Donnie went ahead and drilled all these holes on our drill press and got half inch bolts that are through bolting now through the side of the battery, which is the factory points to be able to hold these frame rails in place. We have everything nice and mounted up and squared on the chassis. We're at 17 inches in the front and rear on both sides. Now we feel pretty confident that the battery is nice and squared up, the front and rear chassis are squared and we can start connecting the dots. So what Donnie's gonna do now is he's gonna start making our mounts to go from this face to the corner of this frame rail. And then we're gonna actually gusset it down inside of this and create a nice strong triangle that's gonna be able to hold the front of this chassis together. Now we're gonna do the same thing in the back as well, but this 
back here, we're gonna use a four by two. So it's gonna be nice and tall and a lot stronger and a lot more beefy. And I'm gonna continue on making our plate that's gonna be able to hold all these factory bolts that originally would be in the Model S. So Donnie's got these two by fours that he cut up for the back of the chassis. Timmy had a cool idea about how to tie the chassis together. So these are gonna be back here. This is gonna be the structural bracing. There we go. And then from there, once we measure the wheel, we'll figure out how much we have to trim of this. We'll make it all pretty and cap it and then tie it again until we'll have two supports. We have our rear braces tacked in place. Donnie got the miters nice and tidy on this guy. So we're going right around the pump on our rear battery pack. Now we're heading towards the front of the truck and we are over the hill, Donnie. Almost to the end, buddy. So this one by one, which is a quarter wall. This is one beefy piece of metal right here. Well, this is gonna be our center of a framework. We're gonna add gussets down here. We're adding gussets here. We're adding gussets here. It's the gusset, bro. It's gusset. This whole thing's gonna be just really really strong on the front of this chassis because a lot of weight is going to really be trivial in this corner so donnie's going to continue on getting this situated and he's going to start making his gussets for down here and get this whole thing all welded up then we'll be able to tack into place then we'll be able to weld all four corners at once and this chassis is pretty much done Donnie's been welding away on this chassis. You think it's all set, buddy? Yeah, there's just a couple spots that I have to get to once the battery tray's down and out, and then from there, everything is structurally there. So we have our front subframe, got our gussets in place, got our rear situated. There's a lot more gussets that's gonna happen back here too. But right now, the foundation of our chassis is done. So before we go any further, we're gonna hang the cab. We're gonna get everything all set with the body of the truck itself before we tear it all apart to continue welding it. So how we're gonna do that though, is we're gonna weld these one by ones in our chassis table, add more fixturing so that we can hang the cab and get everything leveled and square. The electric chassis is finally doing the electric slide. Front and rear chassis are all welded up. We have our supports in, everything's bolted down. This thing is about 95% there. The only thing left we have to do is gonna be a rear sway bar, front sway bar, some suspension things. But first, we're going to hang the cab. So Andrew's over there getting the cab ready to remove from the chassis, from this old nasty Chevy that we got under here. But we gotta pull the doors off this thing. We're gonna pull the hood, the front fenders, the core support. Get everything stripped out so we can remove this cab. Once this cab's in the air, then we'll be able to slide the electric chassis underneath and start fitting the cab on top where we need to go. Don't have enough power. What? We need a breaker bar. Here we go. Rip it, rip it. <laughs> Time to stop the show. <laughs> Time to stop the show. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, guys, that is a wrap for this episode. Me and Donnie have been cutting in areas we should not cut. And we have rust in our hair and we look like crap. But cab is on the chassis. It's looking good. What do you think, Donnie? I couldn't picture this thing before. Now looking at it, dude, I'm stoked. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped too. It's starting to look like something. So what we ended up doing is our little uh, guides here for the pinch rail really worked out nice. This is the lowest point now. Everything is nice and flat. So we'll be able to flat bottom this thing. Like how they do with supercars and exotics. This has really got me jazzed up. Center line of our hub is almost level with our door sill. That's like Lamborghini type stuff, guys. So next episode, we are going to be continuing on fitting the cab. We have to put the floor in this thing. We're gonna get our seat situated, get everything kind of where it needs to go inside the cab so we can continue on with making this thing a running and driving vehicle. We're gonna hang the front fenders. We're gonna mock a lot of things up. Maybe even get a little wild and put the bed on. Who knows? But in the next episode, guys, come back because we're gonna be putting the floor in. We're gonna be finishing everything out. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we will toodaloo boo later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>